to the camera. Come here, Bubba. Come say hello. Look at you, baby. Here, want you stay with me. There you go. <laughs> Why don't you like being on camera, baby? You look so beautiful. People like to see little Coco. Me too. Oh, you look so sweet, Coco. Look at you. Do you know you're on camera, baby? You look so cute. So so shy. I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Let's see how long she'll sit here with me. It's okay. Sorry, guys. I feel kind of um, out of it today. I woke up with a little bit of a headache. So, But I still want to film some type of a video today. Um, but it's Tuesday. Um, and I wanted to kind of give you an update on some of the propagations that I have going on in my house. And... Um, I thought you guys might find that interesting because I did try propagating using a perlite method with a bag. I used moss, water, and soil to propagate different types of Hoya. And some of them proved to be unsuccessful and some of them are doing great. So I thought it might be helpful just to show you my experience if you want to propagate these types of plants at your house. This might be useful to you. And yeah. So I just want to drink some more of this coffee before I do that and um, it's so good. It's s'more flavored. Oh my god. Give me, give me life. Bring me back to life coffee. I got so much sleep last night. I got like nine, I think nine hours, eight or nine and I still feel so out of it. Um, and I'm also eating some of my homemade banana bread and it's really good. So maybe I'll leave the recipe down below. It is my mom's recipe, so hopefully she doesn't mind if I leave that for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a really chill day. I might do some job searching at some point. I don't know if I'll film that. That's not very interesting. So if you're interested in watching me go about my Tuesday, this really chill Tuesday, um, just stay, keep watching. And we're gonna, I'm gonna probably first show you my propagations, but first I need to finish my banana bread and drink my coffee. Hopefully my headache goes away and um, then we will get into updating you on those propagations and maybe I'll give you some plant updates here and there. So yeah, keep on watching if you want to. Bye. So welcome to my coffee table. I'm gonna just update you on some of the plants and I'm gonna start um, based on what they're propagated in. So let's start with moss. Um, so in here I have propagating my Hoya pink silver, which did really well. It's definitely propagated if I gently tug on the plant, it resists because it has grown roots. And I think it's been propagating in this mug for a few weeks. And then I have my Hoya rotunda flora in here as well. And if I tug on it just gently, it also is resisting. I don't really want to take it out of this mug just because I don't want to disturb it, but you can trust me that it definitely is rooted. It's not moving. And um, well, look how cute this mug is too. This is just, this is me in a nutshell. This is my mood most of the time. Um, but yeah, so these did really well in moss. I also did have some Linaris, Hoya Linaris in here, and it did not root in moss. I was not successfully that was not successful, so I decided to move it. And um, so yeah, everything worked in moss besides Hoya linaris that I tried. I also did try to root Hoya patriclata new moon in moss and it also was unsuccessful. And I'm not sure if that's because it was already struggling and I think the stem could have already been dead. So that, I don't know, that didn't work either. But this is doing well. I also wanted to show you my variegated monstera that I have growing in moss. So here's what the leaves look like. It's super beautiful. And you can see there that it has some really healthy green roots and it's been in here for like a few months, just growing roots. I eventually will switch it to soil, but I just like keeping it in here for now. I'm gonna definitely film that when I switch it over to soil. So the next growing medium that I want to talk about are perlite. So I'm growing these um, Hoya Rotunda Flora in Perlite and I keep them in, in this bag. If you haven't seen the video where I show you how to do this, um, I'll link it in the top right corner in, in the description. 
But basically I just added perlite to the bag, I wet it with a spray bottle, and then I added my propagations and they've grown a lot of roots and you basically just blow air into this and see it's kind of like a balloon and then you zip it up all the way. And whenever it deflates, just add more air and then zip it up. And so it's kind of like a little greenhouse and it creates a nice humid environment. A lot of Hoyas like to root when uh, they're in a humid environment. So that works really well and it's very cheap and most, most people have like a plastic bag laying around. You can also use like a container if you have like a takeout container any type of container that has a lid, you can do the same thing. You don't need to use a plastic bag. And personally, like I don't buy plastic bags. My mom had bought these. Um, so if you're trying to reduce your plastic use, you could use any type of closed container. I also am trying to root my Hoya Pachaclata. This is a different one. This is not New Moon. New Moon actually died. I tried rooting New Moon using this method, but I think the plant was already so far gone and I think I think it was pretty much dead. It would not root for me and it started to the leaves started to rot. So I just threw that out cuz it, it it was gone. It was not going to be it wasn't going to live. But this is a different Hoya Pachaclata that's just solid green and I'm trying to reroot it. It was grown in, I think, Coco Coir originally, and it just kept falling out of the pot. Like the roots weren't extending past the Coco Coir when I had it in soil. So I decided to remove all of that, and I'm just gonna try to reroot it using this method, and I really do hope that this helps. Um, and I'll definitely update you guys and let you know how this goes, but we'll see, because it didn't work with my other Pachaclata, but like I said, I think it was just so far gone that it wouldn't root for me. So the next way that I'm propagating is using soil. And this is my Hoya Linaris. And I'm really happy with this. So I got this propagation method from, I think it's like Alco Verde on Instagram. She has a lot of great tutorials on propagating. She does like plant experiments constantly. And this is the only way I was successfully able to root Hoya Linaris. And basically, I'm gonna tape myself doing it because I have noticed that it worked for me and I want to share with you her method. Um, so, ba but basically you're making propagations, you're cutting pieces of this plant, sticking it into the soil, and then every few days, you just lightly water the top of the soil. You don't wanna like thoroughly saturate the soil since it doesn't have a root system yet, but you just wanna lightly water the first little area of soil. I just put it on like, the shower setting on my tap and just lightly water it. And just whenever I notice that it's dry, I will give it a, a little water. And I have noticed a lot of new growth on this. When I lightly tug on the stem, it's not budging. It definitely has rooted and it seems super happy. And I'm really happy that this worked because I did try propagating Hoya Linaris in water, in moss, and I don't know if I tried perlite, but in water and moss, it didn't work that well. I do have, I do have one propagation. Like this little jar has Hoya linaris in water and some of them are just like, some of the stems just rotted. I think we have a few successful ones. So this one's like totally rotted. This one, I might have, I might try to save the top part, but you can see it turned yellow. Um, these guys were successful, but yeah, there's actually new growth. So I guess it did work with a few of them. I think it's just more likely that they'll rot away in water, but I do see a new stem on one of the branches or vines. So yeah, I guess the water propagation does work, but it just takes a lot longer. And I'm not sure how they will transition to soil. I like the soil method because it's not gonna go through any type of a shock when I transition it, cause it's already in soil. So I just leave it, leave it be. Um, so yeah, I guess the water propagation method did work, but I think it is a little bit less foolproof. Um, I do prefer using soil for sure for Hoya Linaris, but I'm just super happy about it. I'm gonna film that video really soon because I think this is very useful to a lot of you guys if you are interested in propagating this plant. Um, so speaking of soil propagation, I'm also propagating this Hoya rotunda flora. Basically, um, I just took cactus soil and perlite and I mixed it up, added it to a small container, added my cuttings, and then I put it in a plastic bag, sprayed with water, and I added air into it, blew it up like a little balloon once again, totally zipped it up, and whenever I notice that it needs water, if there's no water droplets on the outside, 
um, I will give it a little spray of water and then I'll add air again, blow air into it and zip it up. And I'm keeping most of these propagations in my northern window. And I did notice when I tugged gently on the stem that these are rooted and they seem to be doing great. I've noticed growing Hoya rotundiflora is really easy, which is really great because they're pretty difficult to come by. I had to order mine from Thailand um, and you can buy them on like Facebook from people that buy and trade Hoyas, but they're just so simple to propagate and that makes me happy because it's like one of my favorite plants. And then the last thing that I'm propagating um, are these guys. So these are both in water and this is Hoya Bella. I've noticed Hoya Bella is so easy to propagate in water and it grows peduncles and just thrives. Like it really likes water a lot. And um, these have so many new growth points on them. It has beautiful roots and it's just doing so well. My best friend has some water propagated Bella that I gave her and it has, two of them have peduncles that have buds and they're about to open. So I highly recommend propagating Hoya Bella in water because it, it just loves it and it seems to just thrive being um, propagated in water. It looks super healthy. And look how cute this little cup is. These little rainbows. I got this from Anthropology. I kind of want to get more because I just think it's so, so cute. I'm also propagating this Christmas cactus and it has two new little baby leaves and I'm propagating it in water. I've had so much success propagating Christmas cacti in water. So I highly recommend doing that if you or are trying to make more of this type of plant. I got this from my friend's mom. She has like a really old one and they're really, I've never seen Christmas, true Christmas cacti sold in the store. So I'm trying to propagate as much as I can just so I have like a large plant and I can, you know, share with friends and family. Um, I think that's all the propagations that I'm currently working with. I might just like take you around the house and update you on some new plants that I have um, featured in the past and just like update you on them, how they're doing now. And um, yeah, so uh, keep, stay tuned because I'm gonna take you around, give you a quick update on those plants. And yeah, so I'll see you then. <sighs> okay. Oh my God, I'm out of breath already. I think I need to charge my camera soon. I have enough battery. Oh, it's getting hot. It's always, it gets so hot every time I film. I'm dying.